What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and we're going to be taking an integer array and we're going to be calculating the mean of it. The answers that I'm showing you guys in these are just how I solve these problems. There's multiple ways you could, you guys could solve these problems, so don't think that this is the only way. And again, I don't consider myself an expert at programming by any means, so um, I'm not going to say I have the, the best, most efficient answers either. Um, again, I just want to show you guys to help let you see, because again, I came from uh, Java Bootcamp, so I want to show some C-sharp code on here. I know I've got some Java videos on the channel, so I want to show some C-sharp code and just let people see how similar the languages are. Get a familiar with uh, a new coding resource called Edibit and some of the challenges you guys can do on there and then also just um, showing how I think through some of my hacker rank style um, problems and exercises that I do to keep my skills sharp so yeah all right cool so so starting out they want us to return a double uh, which is just gonna be the the mean of the set of numbers they give us so we should only return one number and then we're going to take in for the method um, in, in array. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make a couple variables. So we're going to make them all doubles because I think it makes the most sense since they're expecting a double return type to come back. So we're going to make uh, a two, two things called doubles. First, we're going to make one called num count and just set it equal to zero because we're gonna need to count how many numbers we have in this array so we know what we need to divide by. So later on, after we add up all the numbers in the array, we're gonna divide by num count. The second double is gonna just be the total. So we're just gonna call it double total, and we're gonna set that equal to zero too. So total is gonna update for each integer that's inside the array. So the next thing we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna loop through. We're gonna loop through this array. We're gonna say if ant i, uh, equals zero, we're gonna say i is less than or equal to array.length minus one. Um, array.length minus one is gonna give us the total of the entire length of the int array. So array.length is gonna always give us one more index than we actually need because the array is gonna start counting at zero. So the first number in the set of array, or in the array set is going to be at index location zero. So that's why we have uh, minus one. So if there was six numbers in the array, um, the array dot length would be seven. So we have to do array dot length minus one to make sure that we have the same number of um, elements, you know, as expected for our, our conditional loop. So I so want to let you guys know why we're doing minus one on the length right there. All right, cool. So we have our we have our loop. So uh, so all we're gonna wanna do here is for every number in the array, we're gonna take it and we're gonna add that number to the total and then we're just gonna increment the number count and say like, this is how many numbers we now have in this array, right? So let's just say for every number you go through in uh, this array, we're gonna say total plus equals uh, array of i. Because all that's gonna do is say, whichever index you're at, Whichever number that index has, add that to the total. And then the next thing we're gonna say is num count plus plus, because each time we go to the next number in the array, we want to add up how many numbers we have. So we're gonna do num, num count plus plus. And then uh, we are pretty much done, guys. The last thing we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna return, instead of setting everything to a new variable, we're just gonna return um, the equation that we want. So we're just gonna take, uh, the C sharp math dot round, which is how we're gonna round to the two decimal places that they asked for. We're gonna take math dot round, and in parentheses, we're just gonna say total divided by num count, because that's how we're gonna get the average. We're gonna take all the numbers and we're divided by how many numbers we have. So we're gonna get the average like that, and then we're gonna say comma two, because that's what math dot round allows us to do. So we're gonna take this, this total, so the total divided by the num count, we're gonna take that result and we're gonna round it to two decimal places. And we're gonna put a semicolon right there and we should be all good to go. Let's test this out. We had a quick little error guys, but no worries, nothing wrong with the code. It's just this editor. We need to go ahead and actually say uh, using system because that is where math.round comes from. 
that comes from uh, the system collection in C sharp. So we need to go ahead and just say mad that round. Um, or mad that round is fine, but we just needed to actually say using system. So now if we go ahead and check this again. We should be good to go. And bang. So there we go, guys. Um, that was a, a pretty simple challenge. Um, again, I just want to keep showing you guys different ways of thinking about problems and thinking about how to go about solving it and how I thought about solving them when I did some of these challenges. So again, I think Edibit is a great resource for anybody who's out there learning or growing as a developer or just trying to keep your skills sharp. Hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, leave me some comments and feedback down below. I love chatting it up with you guys after these videos. Let me know what's helpful. Let me know if you'd like to see more, if you'd like to see a different type of tutorial. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, man. Let's let's talk it up. Um, again, hit that like button. Subscribe for me. It helps with the motivation to just keep making videos for you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right?